Hey everybody, I'm Lex. I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. You know, Shane, there's a lot of things we can do with PDQ Deployed besides doing installs. Correct. In fact, uh, we get a lot of support questions and forum questions about, you know, can you help me copy files? I just want to get some files out to my end users. So mm -hmm. why don't we walk through the, the a couple of different ways to do that? So Perfect. Let's start with the uh, you know desktop shortcuts. Everybody wants to get desktop shortcuts out. So why don't you run us through this, man? All right. We have a package. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways of doing this. We have a package that simply just copies a couple of shortcuts out to the all users or the public desktop mm -hmm. for, for all, you, all the computers that you deploy this to. Uh, we have two steps. Why? Because uh, XP and Vista and later, the, uh, the all users desktop or the public desktop, it's, it's a called it differently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, we look at our first, if you look at our first step, we are simply running a regular copy command. Uh, in, in CMD, but we're specifying, if you notice in the additional files, we specified two specific LNK or shortcut files. And you can see the UNC path where those shortcut files exist on our network. We want to copy those down to the target. Using the additional files when this deployment is kicked off, those additional files are going to be collected from the, from the server, copied down to the staging directory in, on each target, and then copied from the staging directory to their, to their final destination. So you can see we have our command is simply copy the current directory, that's where the dot is, mm -hmm. and we're going to copy uh, all the LNK files, star.lnk, there's two of them, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to do it to the public desktop. Notice we have a slash Y, that means uh, automatically answer yes to overwrite existing files of that same name. But go to the conditions. This only will work on Vista or higher, mm -hmm. because the public variable that you're calling doesn't exist in uh, XP. Yeah. Or Windows 2003. So uh, if you deploy this to a uh, XP target, it's going to skip running step one and it's going to go straight to uh, step two, where instead of public, we use the variable all users profile. Mm -hmm. But we still have both of those files, the shortcut files, added in the uh, additional files area. Mm -hmm. And again, the conditions will make this so it only runs on XP or 2003. Yep. So let's go ahead and deploy th and deploy this. We're going to let's do it to two machines. The machine that we're on right now is called Quintana. So let's do it to Quintana so people can see this pop up. And let's do it to an XP machine. Yeah, Randy is a good one. Excellent. Homage to Randy Marsh of South Park. So now, once again, we have an XP and a Windows 7 target. Mm -hmm. And we see those two shortcuts popped up at the top on Quintana. And if you go look in the uh, steps link, you can see that uh, for Quintana, step, it, step two didn't run. Yeah, because it's the XP step, and it's this is a Windows 7 machine. And again, on the XP machine, it skipped the Windows 7 Vista step and went straight to the XP step. Perfect. So that's one way you can do it where you actually use like the additional files mm -hmm. to say add, uh, you know, I'm going to specify which files I want copied down. Now let's do, uh, we have another one, copy PS tools. Maybe you want to copy all of the uh, PS tools suite uh, from, from available from Microsoft. So you're going to grab the entire directory is what you're looking for. Affirmative, yeah. In this case, we're not going to add those files. Uh, notice the additional files is blank. We're actually going to run xcopy and grab, you can see the UNC there, grab all the files in PS Tools, copy it down to the Windows directory, and create a PS Tools directory if it doesn't already exist. Mm -hmm. That's where the um, slash i, slash e, slash y uh, arguments. Yeah, these are xcopy uh, command line parameters. They're not you know, specific to PDQ deploy. We're just using the X, X copy utility that runs on all Windows machines. And the slash i actually says if, um, if that directory, in this case, PS Tools, doesn't exist, just create it. So that's all the uh, files it's going to go? Yeah, that should, when you deploy this, that should go to the uh, PS Tools directory under the Windows uh, directory for mm -hmm. every machine. So just go ahead and do that. You can just do it to, uh, well, let's do it to Quintana and Randy again. Of course, you can always specify your different targets via the choose targets if you want to deploy to mm -hmm. Active Directory OUs or Options vice versa. Right and of course, yeah. you've also missed. Mis it spelled Quintana. Notice it didn't resolve. Nice. Well, I, I'm glad it came up the warning so I can do it correct this time. And you're going to misspell it again. Do you know what you're doing? Absolutely not, man. Why, why, why are you here again? Because I'm good looking. The question still stands. Why are you here? Because <laughs> I can click on the deploy button. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and that's why Lex is here, everybody. I'm good at clicking the deploy button. He's good at clicking. 
Well done. Thank you. Why don't you quickly open up, uh, so Quintana finished, go to, uh, actually let's just do this. We've already seen the output log. Mm -hmm. Open up, let me step aside, Andrew. Mortal. Step aside. Mortal. Yeah, we're just going to go to our run command and say that I want to go right to uh, Winder and PS Tools. Oh, look at that. That directory exists. Those are all the files. There it is. There you go. So copying files, you can use copy, xcopy, you can even use robocopy. Just keep in mind with robocopy, um, if you like to use that utility, still has to exist on the target computer. And um, check our forum posts because uh, you'll have to modify some of the return codes. You know, uh, notice how easy that is despite my bad spelling. Well, that's a, that's a hurdle and a cross you've had to bear and try to overcome, and we're still with you. We're, we're supporting you. I'm Lex. I'm Shane. Catch you guys later.